next day. Hi. Hi. Hi there. Um, I was coming by. I wanted to ask Dante. Um, I just want to talk to you about Michael's schedule, but it <clears throat> seems like a bad time. What's wrong with you? Uh, just an ambush that went wrong with the Balkan. And he hit you on the head? Brenda. Brenda hit you on the head. Wow, shocker there. Let me guess, she was trying to get more attention from Jason? Look, she's got it pretty tough right now. She didn't ask to be made a target or to kill somebody, but she did, and she saved my life in the process. Why don't you just lay off her? When did you become so close with Brenda? There's something else going on. Hey. Hey. Uh, actually, Stone Cold is not on the premises. Oh, good. Uh, is Brenda here? Uh, the Divine One left a few moments ago, uh, hoping a restorative stroll through the fresh air, along with his strong and able protectors, would uh, alleviate some of the trauma of last night's eve. Oh, God, she's not as fragile as you would think. I'm here to find out if you have a connection between Dante and Brenda. Actually, as of this morning, the Jekyll has been unable to obtain proof that the Divine One and Dante the Betrayer had any acquaintance prior to present time. Okay, well, you know what? Keep checking, because I know they have a history. Unfortunately, I've been forced to table my research. Untable it. Circumstances prevent that. Is that circumstance sleeping upstairs? Oh, oh come on! What is going on with you? And what about Dante? We know he's a user and a liar. Look, my, believe me, my animus for Dante remains resolute. It's, look, yesterday Eve, I, I allowed the Divine One to coax crucial information out of me that resulted in near catastrophe, and Stone Cold, who trusts me with high-level security clearance, now fears that his trusty jackal is loose-lipped. Okay, I, I don't understand what that has to do with me. Upon penalty of banishment, the jackal can no longer reveal anything to anyone, and that includes the Valkyrie. All right, let's just start from the top. You know you're invaluable to Jason. I mean, he trusts you. Well, and any Margaret's rule that Jason puts in place about Brenda doesn't apply to me. I well, mean, I'm, I'm Jason's sure closest friend. I don't think that's We have the... no secrets. Wait. You've been expressly keeping Jason in the dark about our plot against Dante the Betrayer. That's our secret, and that's a totally different situation. Okay, well, that may be the case, but I, I, I'm no longer allowed to assist you in information gathering. No, 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 Spinelli, we have to help Jason. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to pay him back. I mean, don't we owe that to Jason? I made Stone Cold a promise. What if Brenda and Dante are lying to Jason? Or what if Dante is blackmailing Brenda and forcing her to lie? We have to tell him. We have to uncover the truth. And I need your help. The Valkyrie's strength is nothing without the Jackal's wisdom. I mean, won't you help me? Gosh, when you put it that way. Jackal and the Valkyrie right again. <laughs> Jekyll has cross-referenced both the situational and locational timelines for both Dante and the Divine One. There should be minimal crossover because Dante's never been overseas before this year. And Brenda's been in Europe for a while. Wait. Here we go already. Look at this. Ha <laughs> ha. New York City, April 2007. The Divine One was in New York, Dante's hometown, for two weeks, and she received police protection. You need to find out the names of the cops who guarded her. What's going on? What would you say if you found out there was a past connection between Dante and Brenda? 